Hello and welcome to Bollywood Hangama's Best Actor Roundtable for 2022. I'm Rohit Khilnani, your host, and I have a talented bunch of actors, Vicky Kaushal, Sesh, Ishan Khattar, Ayushman Khurana, Rohit Saraf, and Sumit Vyas. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Guys, I'm going to just jump in without wasting any time. Everybody knows who you all are. I don't need to give each introduction. My first question is very simple. Everybody becomes an actor for different reasons. I just want to ask each one of you. Vicky, I'll start with you. I'll just go in this order. Why did you choose to become an actor? It was, actually for the longest time, it was not, never a conscious uh, planning in my head. Hmm. I was an engineering student hmm. and uh, midway, uh, during my engineering, our faculty decided to take us and show us a big MNC and how the functioning is have is there and this is your future and all of that and that's when I decided this can never be my future because I don't belong <laughs> here and but till then I was always active on stage be right. it dancing be it, be it acting or plays or whatever since childhood okay. so I got the answer that what I don't want to do because I would never find happiness in that so mm -hmm. I just kind of decoded that okay if I find happiness in this so I would love to do this for the rest of my life. So I finished my engineering and straight away dived into acting. Right. I did a course, theater, whatever, everything Which followed. Engineering Electronics and telecoms. Yeah, wow. so uh, it was basically uh, on the basis of uh, cancelling <coughs> out what I don't want to do, mm -hmm. that I landed on what I wanted to do. And right. I'm so happy that I got that clarity early on in my life. Right. We are so happy you got that clarity. <laughs> so sweet, thank you. Right. So Ish, why, why, I'll twist it a little. Why do you continue to do what you do, which is acting? We are grateful and we are happy to watch yeah, you. To start ke <laughs> 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 yeah, it's why totally do you start Yeah, why do you... a good question. <laughs> yeah. Continue? I don't know. I mean, you know, like, I, I think I don't know what else to do. I remember being 13 years old. I was growing up in San Francisco. And, you know, most 13, 14 year olds in the States, you do part-time summer jobs. So, my Indian grocery store. Mein tha. Okay. So, you know, we used to carry rice bags and you'll be t trying and flirting with the NRI girls that are walking in. <laughs> and, you know, they'd be like, people would be like, give me Rangde Basanti CD, give me Lagan CD, whatever. You know. I think I, yeah, so I think I'm an Amir Khan fan, so I'm just saying those movies. <laughs> so you, were, you were like the Bollywood dealer. Yeah, I was. I was. The so I was the guy, I, yeah, I'd always be telling the owner, please, mujhe yahan khade on, because all the girls are going to come and ask for CDs of their yeah, favorite Khan film. That time? 13, 14, 15. Okay. So, you know, and Fewer. that's how I'd, <laughs> la you know, I'd land a couple of dates because I knew which CD was about to come in. So wow. then I was like, okay, there's something in Well done. Yeah, so, you know, and then, you know, you start doing it. Uh, plus, I think I remember being five or six years old. My dad was an aspiring actor. Okay. And uh, the legendary uh, South Indian narrator K. Vishwanath, sir, mm -hmm. uh, he had a film. My dad was cast in it. He was the lead in it and he had a, an eye accident oh. due to which he couldn't. He was hospitalized for a year or two. So, I saw mm -hmm. those photo shoots, like hazy memories of, mm -hmm. you know, police officer, wo gun pakadna, all that stuff mm -hmm. in the 80s that you see, right? right? So, you know, all this stuff filters in. Right. Well, right, good for you. Yeah, right. that's how and you back some dates. That's the best part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> right. He had no interest in my dad. It's like the dating <laughs> part. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go back to square one. Ishan, again twisting it a little. Uh, there's a fame and social media and perhaps that comes with being an actor. Is that a huge attraction for someone li young like you? No, actually, I think for me, it wasn't so much. Uh, of a choice to be an actor, mm -hmm. I think the choice was more to start taking concrete steps towards being a professional actor. Right. But I think I just always had the bug and I, you know, grew up in a atmosphere where I was yeah. exposed to cinema a lot and, mm -hmm. and not only cinema but the mm -hmm. arts, you know, mm -hmm. music and dance and mm -hmm. um, I've just always been like irrevocably in love with it. So right. it was not much of a choice for me, you know, so to say as a as a career decision is just I, I feel very fortunate that I got to um, do what I love and what I've always been passionate about um, and be able to be paid for it and have a steady job or whatever there is certainly a lot of uh, you know like uncertainty and and it's not a normal job in that sense because every job is like a make or break it, it almost feels like that but uh, for me it was less about a career and more about following my passion right. and uh, luckily I'm uh, you know I've been able to do that and I'm learning along the way and uh, I'm I don't take it for granted and I'm committed to um, giving you know uh, audiences good work 
Right. So Absolutely the right reasons. You love it and you do it. That's great. Aishman, all of us are fans of your acting. We really want to know from you what keeps you going when it comes to acting. Do you enjoy every day being on a set? What more is there to this story of this amazing performances? <clears throat> I'm happiest on the set. Mm. Like, I don't know, I could be super grumpy or lazy at home mm. or with my family, but when I'm on set, I'm like full of energy. Mm. It's just an adrenaline rush. Right. I always wanted to be an actor. I, I can't say that this is the only thing I wanted to do mm. because I've dabbled with a lot, lot of professions. Mm. Started as a journalist, radio jockey, mm. television presenter, mm. also maintained a blog, mm. a lot of stuff. I always had pa plan B, C and D ready. Wow. I'm very practical <laughs> like that. Huh. Yes, this gives me utmost happiness nice. and uh, it's very important to live life. Yeah. We can't be staying in a bubble. To be an actor, you need to experience more and you can reflect that ex those experiences on the celluloid. Mm. That's what I believe in. I like living life at the basic level. Get connected to the roots and uh, you know meeting new people, mm. traveling. Yeah. Has this <coughs> changed with time? Has this become now, or was it always like that? It was always like that. It was always like, like that. we used to do theater, mm. street theater. We used to travel across the length and breadth of the country mm. by second-class sleeper trains mm -hmm. and meet different people, different states. I've traveled across the nation with my theater company. Right. So I've had varied experiences even in my teens. Mm. So that was a lot of fodder right. for creativity. Right. Amazing, glad that keeps you going. Uh, Rohit, you're the young one here again. Uh, you know, same question what I asked him. Same age. Just, yeah, same age. <laughs> <kay? laughs> <Same way. laughs> one or two years <laughs> apart. One or two years. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't Sorry, know that guys. Ishan and I are the same age. Just so we... How old are you? I'm 27. I'm 26, I just don't oh. know. Yeah, oh. I mean, I know it's the same. We have a winner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, same thing, you know, this is such an attraction. Aapko acting ka keda kap kata is my question. Actually, uh, it wasn't me who got bitten by the bug, it was my dad. Okay. Uh, I was uh, four or five and it started off with, hmm. you know, I was the youngest. I have three sisters and a brother, so I'm okay. the youngest in the family. And uh, we'd go on trips together hmm. and uh, I would just tell my dad to take my pictures wherever the hell we were going. And I think, uh, and I used to always look at the TV and I used to copy the steps that I used to see mm. on, on the television. Um, and my dad saw that and randomly he said that I want him to become an actor. Okay. And I, I was very young, I was four or five and, and I grew up hearing mm. that. Mm. He would always say that, you know, when I become financially mm. competent, I would, I would produce a film for mm. you and I'd want you to act. But I thought that I would always want to be a dancer. Okay. So I grew up learning how to dance professionally. I started performing professionally. And when I was 11, uh, I can't remember actually, 11 or 12 mm. is when I, when I lost my dad. Okay. Uh, and when I did lose my dad, it's, it, it was a thing that I stopped hearing suddenly. And that kind of got stuck in my head. When I was 15, I remember, uh, uh, I'm very close to my mom. And so mm. literally I share everything with her. So uh, I saw a friend, uh, you know, who's, who, who had done a photo shoot mm. in Delhi and uh, I saw those pictures and I showed it to my mom that, you know, she's looking beautiful and mm. how cool and she said, you should also do it and I said, but I don't want to do anything about it. She said, you know, maybe we'll try, see if you can act. Mm. If not, then, you know, we'll just hang it on our walls. It's fine, just get it done. Mm. So I said, okay, and, and, and that's a, how a it started. Shoot. Yeah, just a random photo shoot. And that's how it started. Okay. Uh, after I did my photo shoot, Eight days later, I got confirmed for a TV job. Eight days? Wow. Mein ho gaya. Yeah. After wow. eight days, I was confirmed for a TV job and I l literally left my entire life there and I moved wow. to Bombay. Okay. And this is when I was in grade 10. Wow. Uh, wow. I wasn't... Um, wow. Starting super, very young. Super. Yeah, I was yeah. 15. So I wasn't sure whether I would want to do it. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was just mm -hmm. sheer excitement of seeing myself on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wasn't sure if I would really enjoy it mm. and I didn't mm. so a year later I went back because I was just like it's too much and I can't handle it but then I think I kind of that then I was bitten by the bug of you know I want to see myself more on TV mm. so so then I wanted to do films and mm. I didn't want to do TV because I was like I don't like this way of working and I want to work in films because I'd heard that it's a lot better in films right. and then I and I started testing for it and that's how it kind of started oh. uh, but I think what really Till Sky is Pink actually, which was mm. in 2019 is mm. when it released. I wasn't sure whether I would want to continue doing it. Mm. I remember it was in 2019 when we, we were in Amity University promoting... Delhi. The, yeah, Delhi Amity University when we were promoting Sky is Pink. It was uh, Priyanka Chopra and I, we went to Amity. 
and um, I was on stage and I'd, and I'd only seen this in like on, on YouTube of mm. other stars and mm. I'd heard stories and I'd seen news but like it was the first time when I was on stage with PC and there were over five, seven thousand people yeah. and I heard them scream my name. They had no idea who the hell I was mm. but PC announced my name and they all, and they all screamed my name. Wow. I can never forget that feeling. And after that, I remember my mom calling me. Mm. Uh, this was a FaceTime call and she said, you know, it feels rude. I feel like I'm living in my dreams. Wow. And, and that was a beautiful yeah, feeling. Yeah. And I feel like now every single time whenever that happens, mm -hmm. it only reminds me of what it felt like when that happened for the first right. time. So that's kind of what keeps me going. And, and of course, everything else that happens along the way is always a bonus. Amazing. I'm sure all these things your dad is watching and you continue to make him proud. So I, I feel like yeah. one of the biggest reasons why I want to continue doing this is because when I lost him, I was... I don't know if everyone's kind of gone through this, but like when you're so young, you don't necessarily have a dynamic with right. your dad. Okay. You want to do what your siblings are doing. You want to go and mm. you know have fun with them. Mm. You don't want to really do what your dad wants you mm -hmm. to do. So I never had that mm. relationship with him. So it almost feels like by pursuing this mm. and loving it, I, I kind of keep him close because that's sure, the, I yeah. literally do not have memories with him. Sure. So yeah, this feels nice. Great, great. You continue, like I said, you continue to make him proud. You continue to make your mom proud, thank which you. is amazing. Thank you, thank you. So you come with a lot of body of work. You, we were discussing, you've done shows on DD. You, yeah. you now write, we enjoy tripling. We, you, that's something you've written and acted in. You know, does the writer now interfere in the actor when you're on the set or does it help? Or does it add to it? How does this work? When you're on a uh, set, what I'm asking is when you're on a set which you've not written, how do you switch off saying, I just have to act here? It's actually, I'm a very lazy person. I don't <laughs> like writing. I only, I only write when I don't have acting work. Okay. And I, I, am, I am not good at anything else. Right. So, and then I have to be seen doing something. Right. If I'm just... So when I have a laptop in, my, in front of me and I'm doing this, then people at home think that I'm doing something. That's it. I have, I'm not an intelligent what person. What is this? What is So... <laughs> Every time something I write releases, I feel like, Arey, yaar, is bar, main pakda jaunga, is bar, yaar, log, aur nik, aay, nikal gaya. <laughs> so, Reba, ek aur nikal gaya. you have written all of it. I have written all yeah. of it, most yeah. of it, yeah. Do you want to tell us what, any memory from your DD days, the show that you did on Doordarshan? Yeah, so I was doing theatre mostly and uh, they, they don't pay in theatre as you would all know. Uh, <laughs> so, and, like they would pay me like 200 whatever okay. bucks for a <laughs> show <laughs> and... Seriously, so yeah. I'd like... Up till I was like 20, 21, it was fine. It's food for soul. Mm. Uh, food for soul. Yeah. And then people were asking like, so now what? Like right. you can't just make money and put petrol in the bike and then keep going everywhere. <laughs> At some point you'll have to make money. So then I started auditioning and this one DD show came mm. by and I went and I used to shoot there seven, eight days a week uh -huh. and it was great. And those days, uh, 2003 or four we did mm. it. We used to get postcards mm. from like, uh, from mm. smaller places mm. and that would be the fan mail. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was great. I had a great time shooting that TV show and uh, now I hide it and mm -hmm. I try to delete those th things from YouTube but then <laughs> somebody <laughs> keeps tagging me. Yeah, <laughs> <they're not laughs> no idea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. There was a film I did that I actually paid money to get it removed. Like the really? Pirate, really? Yeah, like, no like the pirated, <laughs> <laughs> like the pirated version of the film. Jo, I'd, I'd be like yeah. paying the anti-piracy guys <laughs> care. Kuch karo, <laughs> isko. Delete karwa do isko. Jo log mere saath abhi kam kar rahe, wo ye dekhenge to mere saath kam nahi karna. You know a lot about this industry. You were give, selling CDs and giving CDs to girls, and you know how to get movies removed. I'm going to take your number later. <laughs> right, Vicky. You know, I'm coming to you again. You know, as you climb the ladder of success and become this, you know, big star. Uh, how tough it is, people say, like, you know, when I've interviewed people, a lot of big stars, and they say, as you climb up, it gets lonelier. One, is it, does it get lonelier? Is it tough? Does, does your work get tougher? Or is it, are you, you know, personally in a more secure place that, I have life in life, gaya? it's great. Or is it, Vicky Kaushal ko tension hai, or kaam milne ka, or achhi movies milne ka? 
रोहित टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट ऑफकोर्स माई लाइफ इज माई वर्क बट माई लाइफ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली माई फैमिली एंड माई फ्रेंड्स एंड आई फाइंड माई सॉलिस माई पीस ऑफ माइंड ओवर देयर एंड आई एम नॉट रियली डिपेंडेंट ऑफ फाइंडिंग दैट सॉलिस इन माई वर्क ऑफकोर्स आई वॉन्ट सेटिस्फैक्शन बट माई इवेंचुअल माई वेरी बेस कोर पीस ऑफ माइंड इज वेरी मच डिपेंडेंट ऑन माई home my family my friends that's mm-hmm. my core that's my ground zero mm-hmm. so it's really and also also somehow i i'm a little detached to the results okay. i'm very attached to the process but i'm i'm a little detached to the result be it plus or minus very very uh, so uh, kind of i i don't know i just i did i never want to be at the mercy of the result because then you don't it's a, it's a dangerous rabbit hole uh, both are equally dangerous so mm-hmm. there's never and it's also very subjective i can't generalize uh, uh, you know this this topic of discussion sure. but uh, for me what helps me is to just know that i want to sleep well every night mm-hmm. and the only things that matter to me predominantly is that to know that my family is safe healthy happy my friends are good everything's okay that gives me the best sleep wow. work some days i'm going to have off days some days i'm going to have great days mm-hmm. some films are going to work some films mm-hmm. are not going to work that's all part and parcel right but what really gives me peace of mind is something completely different from right. what we are discussing that's yeah. a very good point that yeah. he made for an actor it's so difficult to detach to the result because these results are so huge massive you know fame all kinds of things say so can you detach yourself from the result can you not at all yeah exactly <laughs> this is so different for not different people yeah, yeah it's it's very different um, now having said that i'm completely obsessed by reading reviews and all of that i'm ah, truly yeah. obsessed with that to know how it got received Why doesn't drive your life? Like that's yeah. not your only thing. I mean, so, I, I guess that's true. But the as an ear, it it drives hmm. your you know your very existence. But I think I'm a, for me the idea that we make art and the idea that that art is being recognized in a positive manner matters a lot. So you know, if sometimes it happens that the film didn't work, hmm. you start. I, I definitely go into a very healthy. analysis yeah, yeah. you know there's yeah. a very healthy post mortem yeah. i don't get depressed mm. i and i'm very practical that way mm. um and i see and there's been times i've caught it i caught it before it happened wow. and i changed it mm. uh, in a way that would hopefully salvage things mm. to a certain degree mm. and i think that's part of why i started writing um so out of the last six films i've released uh, four of them were written by me wow. or in collaboration with the director right. um and the reason was because of that because i i was tired of sort of you know when you come from outside of the business you know offer nahi karte na log matlab aur upar se uh you know wahan par ek ek family mein 10 10 hero hote hain so kya ho jata hai ki for a good script to come by you you are like choice number 53 so and there's only 20 good scripts so it became easier really? to yeah 20 of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's so, amazing yeah. <laughs> the south kind of thoda so you know you you end up because you know being considered and yeah. one thing is we don't have an auditioning culture hamare wahan audition karke zyada tar agar kare bhi lead roles ke liye ya important roles ke liye nahi hota you're saying hmm. the telugu cinema ha in yeah. telugu cinema okay. matlab wo that guy number fourth friend ho fourth mm-hmm. friend ka role ke liye tum audition okay. kar sakte ho but okay. you can't audition for a lead role it's usually it's booked that's right so you'd end up writing your own thing in part because i wanted to control this process now that i know any better but i know at least if i fall why i'm falling mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know at least you know ki ha isliye if you see something going wrong and you have no control over it mm-hmm. you're like are yaar mujhe pata and you know you try and talk about it and then mm-hmm. it still happens anyway right so yeah the the result matters a lot i right. think um ishan what do you what do you think when you hear these things these are such different views right next to you what is your take on this i mean i agree with a lot of things that both of them have said uh-huh. so i mean i feel like i can relate to a lot of it uh-huh. um i uh, if the question is specifically about the result i would be lying if i said that it's uh, this profession is not a part of my life it's mm-hmm. almost like a part of my day to day life and yeah. because i also mm-hmm. uh, have family and friends that do the same thing mm-hmm. it, in it wouldn'tly we talk about these things a lot right. yeah. but um, i definitely 100% agree that mm. uh, family and your mental health is more important than your career okay because uh, i think that also as actors we're like vessels right we're we're almost like mediums to tell the story right. through and if there's something like a previous failure or something that is uh, bothering you mm. uh, the camera is going to catch it the camera catches everything mm. you can't lie right so um i think it's very important to keep yourself in a state that is that is mentally healthy and mm. neutral so 
every person i guess has their ways of dealing with sure. it individually and and what it means to them and what their relationship mm-hmm. with success and failure is mm-hmm. but i think both of them are um you know like like in the rudyard kipling uh, yeah, poem if mm-hmm. you know yeah. uh, if you can treat triumph and disaster mm-hmm. yeah. the same as if they're imposters you know it's right. it, that's i guess the that's way to right. yeah it's yeah. on my wall it all started it's, yeah. a, it's wow. on my wall that's in my house wow So yeah, I mean I think that it's important to have a balanced perspective towards both. Right. But um yeah, I mean I live and breathe films, mm. so mm-hmm. that's it's for that part of it is symbiotic for mm. me because I feel like I my personality also grows from the work that I do mm. because it gives me so many different perspectives. Mm-hmm. Um uh, I definitely am a believer that this work, this creative work, you know, the the art aspect of show business uh-huh. can um change you as a person even yeah. because the job is empathy mm. so um you you live in other people's shoes for a while and mm. it just gives you a different perspective towards life Amazing. it can do that certainly yeah that's um, a great tweet the job of an actor is empathy yeah. it is no yeah. quote yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm not a twitter so you can have it <laughs> <laughs> well, so what i want to ask you is you know a lot of these uh, things that we keep hearing do you think a lot of this perspective has changed after the pandemic what we have what humanity has gone through do you think a lot of it has changed that talking about come out with deeper <laughs> for sure we think, were shallow do you, empty do you think souls. do you think people have <laughs> people have St- people have you know are he like he's saying family you know family he's talking about mental health do you think pandemic changed all this and we all got a zoom out of life i think we just got more time with family mm. during yeah. pandemic mm. i think i was always empathetic okay and as an artist mm. you are in the business of selling emotions mm. when the director is saying action you are crying mm. probably laughing mm. emoting different varied <coughs> uh, perspectives of life or maybe different characters mm. so it's very important to have that zen like quality right. and have that grounding which right. comes with family mm. friends at the same time i'm not consumed by films i think of course my li- life lies outside films mm. of course i'm happiest when i'm on the set mm. but i have to live life mm. to emote mm. and also at the same time i don't consume a lot of films mm. i probably consume more music mm. could be books i have to live life outside cinema right to get in there because it just reflects the society yeah. that we want with people to begin with mm. but at the same time yes i agree with all three emotions okay. like he's slightly attached yeah. he's detached mm. he's also he's just started and he has that grounding which is amazing young amazing amazing huh? but you are young huh? but you yeah. have that grounding yeah. which is he's just started it's, it's very important yeah. no so in my 20s i was all over the place i think mm. like right, in yeah. in your 30s you realize okay you have right. that balance right. i was all over the yeah. place yeah. yeah he's very wise for 27 yeah. year old 27 27 yeah. year old yeah yeah, yeah. 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 you know uh, rohit i want to ask you how to detach from youtube views instagram likes number know. of you i literally do not know like, i do not relate to any one of them hmm. cuz <laughs> i am a mess to like i'm bloody consumed by it uh i get very affected actually uh when something uh that i've been a part of um and i and it's not received well mm. because of the simple reason that it's not uh, i i don't understand how to mm. not think about it mm-hmm. i've given a lot of time so mm. all of this is actually very aspirational for me mm. to you know actually reach yeah. a point where i can be so detached that it huh. doesn't bother me right. or at least ka ho jao oh but i actually yeah. i get i do get affected right. by um it by anything that mm. i do not working uh, it's very uh, and i d- wouldn't realize it huh. until very recently right. uh, you know in one of the releases uh, most of it was received pretty well but uh, y- you know this one certain review uh, i read and i it the my name was not mentioned at all <laughs> this was for that's happened to me also that's <laughs> for vikram veda okay vikram veda right. and i was like was it that bad hmm. cuz i do not agree and if I don't agree then why is it affecting me so much because it mm. technically shouldn't mm. I, if I'm content with what I did then it shouldn't affect me so right. much as to what other people are thinking right like. sometimes they But have a capacity of words that they have to write into that's why yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just I'm going to tell myself this art is so subjective yeah. art is so subjective subjective yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah. No, but that's yeah. happened to me also during raman raghav huh. one of the reviews 
just didn't mention me. I was like, yeah, 10 people were not there, two were there. Of course. Say it, say it, say it. You were the third one, you were the third one. Right, right. So, think about that. Right. You know, there, there, uh, there was one review. We did Yavaru, which is the Telugu version of Invisible Guest, and Padla had come out the same year. Oh. So, there was one review where they said, he hasn't done anything, he hasn't done anything, he hasn't done anything. So, you know, uh, sometimes not being mentioned can be can better. Be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times, yeah, yeah, of course. Like, I don't mention. I'd rather, I'd rather you don't not notice me. Notice that I'm bad. But, but don't not, because then it feels like you, you suddenly start questioning what was all that hard work for? for. Am I not growing at all? Because hmm. If for me, it started with a Deers in the Gee, then a, then a, then a Hitchkey, then ah. a Sky is Pink, then a Ludo, ah. then Vikram Veda, and it's thankfully it's yeah, you know there's it's been upward. So I would understand if a Deers in the Gee would not review me, mm. or a or a Sky is Pink, or even mm. Ludo for that matter would mm. not review me. But I feel like there needs to be one point where I need to feel like okay, I've broken out of where I was, right. and uh, it's unfortunate where. I don't know if it's unfortunate actually that I'm at a point where this thought mm. is directly related to what the reviews have to say. Right. Uh, yeah. But I really hope that I can actually uh, be yeah, at a point yeah. where you know yeah. none of this shit. <laughs> well, it's yeah. beautiful yeah. to hear you. I know. I just feel like yeah. I was the here. One <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like a yeah. lot of people. Like, hota hai, this is always part of yeah, it. Yeah. Be part of that job. Yeah, yeah. Lot of people say you're typical North Indian. Well, Hindi kahan ki baasha? Typical South Indian. You know, the Malayalam film. You're doing a dialogue. Exactly. But yeah, you play a typical North yeah, Indian. Yeah, yeah. What is typical North yeah, Indian? Yeah, yeah. No. Also, what happens in the beginning of the journey is that you you're always craving for the validation to come exactly. from outside. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, ki yar, you know, it used to happen that the first few times on set, I used to be like. कट होते ही डायरेक्टर की आंखों में देखो कैसा लगा मैं ये नहीं सोच रहा मुझे कैसे फील हुआ मैं पहले ये देख रहा हूँ उसे कैैसा लगा इट इट टुक सम टाइम एंड अ फ्यू इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस टू रियलाइज कि यार इवन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर सर ओके डिड आई डिड आई डिड आई फील ओके डिड आई फील ट्रूथफुल एंड दैट वॉट स्टार्टेड दैट्स वॉट स्टार्टेड मैटरिंग द मोस्ट यू नो बट आई गेस इट जस्ट You're on the right path. If it's any validation, when I started, I came from radio background, started doing television. Television directors are very, very blunt. Radio नहीं चल रहा यहाँ पे, acting करने यहाँ पे बड़ा क्या हो जाए? And someone said that. Really? He's being really nice about. I mean, I don't mean to make a blanket. Blunt is not a word you would use. I'm not a. I'm not making a blanket statement about the. Sure, no, but you're right. That's your story. Don't be abusive. Yeah, you. I I couldn't survive that at all. I'd rather not. I'll give you a hug, man. Thanks. If it's any validation, see the table you're sitting on, see the talent. It's all you guys are amazing actors. I'm going to come to each one's work. I'll start with you. Genuinely enjoyed tripling. I have seen two episodes of Arya Par, which is coming on Disney Plus Hotstar. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it's something different. Do you want to tell this audience of this roundtable that's watching this one about first writing, tripling, and acting in it? How tough is that part? Writing and acting becomes a little tough. Okay. The idea was never to write and act in my own things. Right. Because I also enjoy the fact that I create something and then I see other actors. Performed, yeah. Like I get really excited when I see good actors do a a good script. You know, from the time I was doing theatre, I would really enjoy that. So it works the other way around. But for tripling, we did. Right. And it's harder because I it was very hard for me to not tell people that this was the nuance. Right. You know, like sometimes. People tend to do their own thing mm. with what you've written, mm. and the idea was that. And initially, everybody felt like, "Oh, he's acting, so he's trying to cut my part, or mm. he's trying to direct me, or something like that." Mm. I was like, "No, no, 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 no! I want to give you this joke mm. because you're good. Yeah. Just do <laughs> this because you look yeah, good, yeah. you know." Tough uh, position. Tough yeah. position. Yeah. 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 So yeah. through the show, I was very like, I was almost painful to yeah. a couple of uh, Amol and Manvi because I was really. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wanted certain things exactly the way they were I written. I loved Rippling. Yeah. Huh. yeah, a huge fan. And then I only loved the first season. Loved, of loved, yeah. loved. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. after the show became a hit, and then uh, he became more popular. Mm. Then I was like, "Acha, ab isko kam se kam ye doubt nahi hoga." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Right. Uh, 
so that's the tougher, the tougher part, part, I right. think, writing and acting. Right. I wish I could give out all about Arya Par. I don't want to do that. But yeah, do you yeah. want to tell them what kind of a cop is easy? Like a singham kind of a cop? What kind of a person? No, no. They don't cast me for those kind of cops. They wanted a thinking cop and you know, like a smart guy. So, That's but it's cool. a very interesting... <laughs> right, right. So it's like an artificial thinking kind of cop or yeah. like a singham kind of cop. Yeah, so like he comes and he <laughs> says something very intelligent. <laughs> but you, know, you know, like he's thinking all the time. That, that kind of cop okay. I'm playing. Okay. But uh, very interesting <laughs> script. Right. Uh, Aditya Rawal is in it and mm -hmm. I'm essentially chasing this mm -hmm. uh, this one character through mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts from a village and we go all the way to Poland mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. whatever, uh, Romania and so yeah. it's a very interesting but the good part is that it has such a huge canvas mm -hmm. Arya yeah. part uh, of the show and it's about talking about a tribe and talking about a corporate giant who's trying mm -hmm. to do something about it and mm -hmm. Uh, but the core story is a very simple human mm. story. Mm. Someone came and did something to your family and you mm. want to get back at mm. them. It's just that. It's, yeah. It almost reminded me of some of the great films that we've seen, be it, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is that story. Or exactly Interstellar story. or any yeah. of these yeah. films. I mean, I'm not comparing the two, no, no, but I'm saying the germ is the same. The, the germ germ. Is the same. Yeah. It's yeah. a great story, but it's essentially yeah. a story about a father and a son yeah. Yeah. or a daughter. Yeah. So that really that spoke to me a lot. and. And it was again, I mean, nice. uh, I, I didn't expect a lot of action, but ah. it has a lot of action. Ah. Like Sunday, I went to the set and they said, okay, right. so this is the car and then some bus is going to come and yes, ah. and ah. then you come out and you jump and you fire a gun. And ah. I was like, oh, okay then. Uh, <laughs> I thought uh, <laughs> I was going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm a thinking cop. <laughs> I'm a thinking cop. I'm thinking they do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, suddenly, I'm like, so how are we going about this? And one person says, okay, okay, you're going to go, and then you're going to go, whoop, whoop, and then you're going to go, bye, 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 bye. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> It was great. I had a, it I had a great time. It's tag. absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's super entertaining. Vicky, to you, I am someone who's seen Govinda Namera. I've messaged you, the first one to message you. you this is a Vicky Kaushal we have never seen before. I wonder, Shashank said a very interesting thing in our interview. He said, I don't cast direct actors thinking that I'm Vicky, this is Vicky. I first write and then I cast the actors. Then it's a challenge if, for the actor and for the director. Was that it and is that the reason you just let go and just be in this zone that's outside your comfort zone where we've seen you? I <laughs> think It was just something that I got narrated and I instantly connected with it and okay. got excited about it. Okay. Uh, I was coming out of films which had uh, kind of at that point of time hmm. Made me feel that I was a little, little saturated mm -hmm. about like probably like, it, it, essentially because of coming out of Sardar Udham, it was a very right. exhaustive process. Right. Uh, coming out of that, I was really hungry to do something fun, mm -hmm. vibrant, yeah. light-hearted, where I don't have to cry in the film huh. or just be very, very like you know, right. like a hardcore process <coughs> or something. Mm -hmm. I thought if I go through a process like that, which is just a fun filled process, I would be able to give a lot more to other intense dramas that come my way. Mm. So this just came at the right time okay. and me and Shashank have been, you know, had been talking about collaborating for a long time right. and then he just came in and he narrated Govinda and this was something that I had not attempted before. Mm. A shade of that probably Manmarziya where I had gotten mm. the chance to open up oh, my wings. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you. Fantastic. Thank you. But yeah. uh, this one was a little bit more Masaledar, ah. Bambaiya. Super. You know, we're playing. I'm playing a background dancer in, oh. in films. It comes with its own, its own chaos and oh. all of that. So oh. I was like, "Yar, masti hogi, maza aega, oh. kuch naya explore hoga." And I literally just surrendered to Shashank oh. to kind of drive me through through the film. Oh. And I really had a blast. You had a blast making the film. Like oh. I like I said earlier, like I'm really really obsessed with the process. Mm. That I just I just have complete satisfaction about just that's being a part of the process of Govinda Namira. That's so good. That's so and that's so important. That's amazing. Yeah. And it really shows that three of you and all of you, all the actors have had a blast. Yeah. It shows on the screen. In real life also I love to I love to <coughs> And that's what Maza. you are in the movie also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was fun. You know, a major really impacted and you know it had it was such an impactful film for people, especially here like us who have covered 2611. Whose validation did you need that you know when we, this film comes out, these are the people who should 
be proud of it and who should like it. Mm. I mean, Major Sandeep's parents. Mm. Um, you know, जब हमने पहली बार उनको फोन किया लाइक आई यू नो महेश बाबू सर वॉज ऑन बोर्ड एंड वी हैड एवरी थिंग एक्सेप्ट अंकल एंड अम्मा परमिशन सो वन वी कॉल दम द फर्स्ट थिंग अंकल इट वॉज हैंग अप सो द सेकेंड टाइम वी कॉल दम सेकेंड टाइम थिंक ही हैंग अप अगेन सो वी हैड अ गर्ल इन आर टीम कॉल कि शायद हील बी सॉफ्टवेयर टूवर्ड्स अ गर्ल एंड ही वॉज सो सम हाउ वी फिगर आउट वे आफ्टर सेवन एट फोन कॉल्स टू एक्चुअली जस्ट अलाउ कि वो अलाउ करें दैट वी विजिट दम एंड वट एवर and what they started saying was lots of he- heroes and their managers and their com- production companies have called from hindi and from malayalam i said i am from neither i am mm. from telugu cinema <laughs> <laughs> so i was just trying to set myself apart somehow mm. i was just desperate mm. and you know i remember by after meeting them about seven eight times it really felt cool we started feeling like okay now they're starting to believe in us mm. and then uncle one day goes i believe you're going to make this movie 10% so i was like oh zero se 10 to hai <laughs> okay theek hai So you know, for me, um, the day they saw it in Bangalore was about three days before the release. That was sort of the acid test. Ki matlab kya hone wala hai? You're talking about people who've actually served with Major Sandeep, yeah. um, and they they just loved it. Yeah. And uh, not only did they love it, uh, they actually brought me to the uh, NSG base in Poe, which is created in his name. It says Unikrishnan Dwar on mm. it, and the center of the campus is his statue. So all of these people. All of these NSG officers mm. in that campus, they worship Major Sandeep. So the first time they saw me, they said, "Do you believe in Major Sandeep?" You know, mm. and they were, you know, they were like, "Acha, shoot karke dekha." <coughs> so they actually had me at the gun range, wow. and I'm like, "Okay, shit, let me try and remember all my training because it's been a few months since we finished, mm. since we wrapped." <coughs> and by God's grace, che goli to lagya out of ten. Oh. So I was like, "Arey, chalo, theek hai." <laughs> since then, they've been saying, "So when are you coming back to, into the army?" Ye wo bol rahe mujhe. I'm like, "Ha ha." <laughs> but you know it was that was it you know it was just getting their validation and of, and of course the countries yeah um, it meant a lot to me mm. that see the thing is uh, telugu people are famously very not so there, there's not much of an army culture okay in in, mm. in the telugu states so it meant a lot to me when uh, we screened the film in vizag mm. mm. and you had all there was 2000 kids all of them my fans and they were just like between the ages of 18 to 24 mm. so they were what 3 4 5 years old when 2611 happened right. so they have no impact and mm. it's somebody from bangalore who is a carelite mm. who fought in mumbai mm. so that in- inherent apna connection is mm. there as an indian but mm-hmm. it's it's not like it happened to their city mm. or something close to them mm. so i think the greatest reaction that felt sort of just as powerful as uncle and amma's was when all these 2000 kids Started screaming Major Sandeep's name. We would have heard that. You know yeah. that that meant everything. Amazing. I think that I was like, okay, mm. now I we have served our purpose. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's the, that's why you go into it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, to you, phone booth came. I I want to ask you uh, that you know when you work with uh, you know Katrina Sidan, uh, it looks like so much fun. We did an interview together. You all were having fun through the interview. Do you all may end up making friends, and do you all end up? How does one detach when you get, you know, when you get to meet and you make good friends? How does one switch off and move on to another film? Do you, do you are you in touch with them? No, I mean, I think that's the nature of the job. Right. You know, uh, a unit becomes like a family for a mm. while, and mm. you spend a lot of time together, a yeah. lot of concentrated time, with all your energies directed towards making this thing uh-huh. happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we're kind of like gypsies as actors, and then you know you move to a different unit, and and you interact with a lot of people. But of course, <laughs> there are some relationships with uh, with your coworkers that that will always be special, right. even if you don't interact or talk for a long time. Okay. And especially, I think between actors, oh. often there is you know a, a very strong uh, connection, even mm-hmm. if you don't talk for a very long time. It's mm-hmm. like you feel that often with close friends and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Of course, that's different, but you f- you feel like there are things that uh, you don't all have to stay in circulation and discuss. But when when you meet, it's almost as right. if that time yeah, hasn't yeah. passed or something. Did you did you all have as much fun as it looked like with Katrina and Sid? With, it yeah. was it was a lot of fun, yeah. and it, we all our work was more or less together. Nice, you know, especially Siddhant and me. So it was huh. it was great fun, and um, you know. I enjoyed every bit of the right. process. So yeah, super. You know, uh, till Doctor G, I was. We were all thinking that you know, you you take these subjects and you pick. Then you came action hero, which was so different. And we again, we you and I did an interview and we spoke about this. Is this you know like for Vicky Govinda is such a different one? Was mm-hmm. action hero that for you? Like was that uh, that one film that you wanted to do different from what you've done before? Absolutely. You're always looking for something which you've never done before. Mm. And action was that genre I was 
I'd never dabbled. Hmm. And uh, I was equally excited and nervous and anxious before hmm. taking on an action hero. Hmm. But I'm glad it has got that exclusive fan club, you hmm. know. It, yeah. it is an underrated gem, but uh. Uh, nevertheless, it's better to be underrated than overrated. Absolutely. So <laughs> it's, it's right there. <laughs> so I, it's right. very special to me. The film is very special to me. It's 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 something I'd, I think I'd give everything to the film. That's great. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, and that's so important, right? At the end of the day, you did your best, and yeah. you know, and and it has its own audience. Yeah. Fantastic. Yourself and Jaydeep, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what love. I I loved Jaydeep. I loved Jaydeep in the film. And in fact, it was uh, we had. I I could only think of him. As a character, yeah, you he was very busy that. after Patal. Log, I was like, I will do my date. I will do my date. I will do my date. I He was just perfect as Bhura in the film. What is he like to work with? He is very unlike Bhura. Okay. <laughs> he is a goofball. And you yeah. can't imagine Jaydeep yeah. Alawat to be a goofball. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So I could just relate to him. We were very similar. Hmm. We used to listen to music, hmm. go for walks together. Oh. And um, yeah, very unlike <laughs> the chemistry we had <laughs> right. on screen. Right. And we had a lot of fun, a lot of newcomers in the film. Like, yeah. Jay, the first time DOP, like, mm. of course, he did Gehraiya, mm. but first theatrically for him, mm. first time script writer, first time director, mm. the guy who played the inspector in Haryana, mm. first time actor. A lot of first timers in the first film. Time so there's a lot of excitement. That energy of first timers yeah. is amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I want to talk to you about both mismatch and Vikram Veda. One is it when you go on a set and there's Rithik Roshan and Saif Ali Khan? Is it intimidating? I think it was intimidating because I had to, uh, because I had to do a dialect that nobody believed I could do. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was the intimidating part. There, just with Saif sir, I've barely shot for like 15 minutes. He basically huh. came, shot me, and I was dead. <laughs> 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 He didn't even shoot me. <laughs> the action master shot me and he basically just came and spoke above my head while I was dead. So we practically did not shoot okay, together. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> while you were dead, you should have said, Hi, I'm Mr. <laughs> <laughs> you you shot me. Yeah. Barely, the only, uh, <laughs> the only thing, actually I don't want to say it. <laughs> say it later. Yeah. No, I shouldn't say it. No? So I'll, yeah, I'll tell you later. Hey, edit it. Uh, thumbnail will jag hai. Haan. Come on, man. We I want one headline still from you. No, no, no. Dead man walking. No, no, no. So, so uh, with Saif sir not so but he's been really, really kind. I've been very, very fortunate and I'm not saying this for effect, but I've really genuinely been so fortunate with everyone that I've worked with right, so far. Right. Not just HR and Saif, but also uh, PC and Farhan and mm, everyone. Mm, that they're the kind of people who actually want people around them to grow with them. Right. So they've always kind of supported every time I've I've fallen down. Right. And and that's been incredible. So I wasn't intimidated because of that, but okay. I was intimidated because I just had to do a dialect that didn't probably fit well with people and hmm. me with it. Right. And uh, you know, Vikram Veda was less on your shoulders that, than Mismatch. Mismatch was completely on your shoulders, you and Prajakta. You all have an audience of your own. The minute we put out an interview, it goes viral. You all have a crazy following. Did you think that way that if Vikram Veda works or doesn't work, <laughs> this is totally on my shoulders. You know, actually, uh, while that makes a lot of sense, huh. I, I think Yes, it, it's it's a it's a bonus almost, and I feel like a complete jerk for saying this, but like <laughs> it's a bonus that one can sit back and think that this is not my film, like it's mm. their film. So mm. if it doesn't work, too bad on them, it doesn't make any difference <laughs> for me. <laughs> but like honestly, it wasn't like that for uh, me at all because <laughs> nobody believes that I could ever do a small town part. Uh, I've it. met people to give an audition uh. in the room. I've been told. Rohit, sorry, we can't even audition you because you don't look the part. You're just too good looking. Too look urban. <laughs> yeah. Too right. urban. Yeah. Like we just have to cast Rithik Roshan. <laughs> 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 right. Huh. Uh, so for some reason, like I was never even considered to be tested for mm. it. Mm. Uh, for me, it honestly, like it was very, very important mm. how this film did for me, whether mm people could believe that I belong to a mm. world like that or right, not. Right. So honestly, the pressure was a lot. I, yeah, I, okay. Like, it wasn't at all that, oh, it's their film and it's not mine. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it was a huge deal right. to be able to get this part, A, 
we work with geniuses like Pushkar and Gayatri there. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. 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 And yeah. uh, I just wanted to do well. Yeah. So it was. What they wrote with Vikram Veda was something unimaginable. Terrific, terrific, talented people. Yeah. And and this what part was I was asking is uh, mismatch was on your shoulders. That was you were clear about that. Yeh to, this is my team. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Bol de. Yeah. I haven't thought about it. Mother, I just wanted it to do well. Where did the modesty come from? Actually, it's all me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or what? It, it is on. Yes. That's true. <laughs> yes. Honest. I, I mean, for anybody who's seen it, it's actually an ensemble. So I yeah. don't okay. see it Modest like that. Yeah. <laughs> see. Yeah. I'm not trying to be modest. Watch the show. You'll realize what I'm saying. It's the song. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Yeah, yeah they've done yeah. amazing yeah, with yeah. music yeah. this time. So yeah, that song. Yeah. But if I must, then sure, yes. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, so we're reaching the end of it. Just two more segments. This one is I want to ask you: Did you do you watch any of their work? Did you watch any of their recent work? Whose work? What stood out for you? I'm of course I've seen all of their work. Okay. Uh, Anything recently of any? Actually, the first film I wrote was yeah. uh, Vicky Love Per Square Foot. Love Per Square Foot. And uh, of course, I saw, I've seen him ah. before and mm. after it, and mm. it just uh, yeah. fills my heart. Actually, done backstage for many of his plays. Wow! Uh, yeah. Oh, y'all do go back. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. <laughs> uh, we were in Delhi, Delhi performing at Park, Park NST yeah. Festival, and yeah. Vicky was uh, there. He was doing backstage, and it just. You know, every time he does well, we feel like yeah, you know yeah, one yeah. of us, and he's done so well for himself. Right, he really is incredible. And of course, I've seen your film. I've seen all of your films. Mm. I've seen all. Of, in fact, for Aishman, I felt like you know he's he's uh, responsible for bringing a lot of indie and indie ideas to the mainstream. Mm. Yeah, it was so mm. important for mm. those ideas to get mm. that kind of attention because mm. those ideas would often get lost and mm. translate yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and mm. translate into numbers it was yeah. very yeah. important because right. only then people started experimenting with different kind of films in mm. mainstream cinema right. uh, otherwise it was a pretty set pattern like there were like three or four kind yeah. of films that yeah. would do well mm. uh, also those those subjects uh, have a very natural tendency to go into a very niche space yeah. but I, yeah. i guess ayushman brings in a certain charm, charm. or a certain mm. this thing that it just becomes very mainstream and that's mm. very important for the society yeah. for to have those discussions yeah. totally. and then it totally. just opens up the gate for so many yeah. other filmmakers yeah. and mm -hmm. actors yeah. to be able to experiment yeah. and do other things right. you know hoping that this would also do well mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it uh, mm -hmm. it a huge credit his, goes to his movie uh, you know wiki donor mm -hmm. and films like i watched that. it three days ago again yeah, yeah. 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 it's a very it's a very special film mm -hmm. i mean i we love it because it's such a it's a beautiful I, film. I i love going back and watching these feel good films and and that's something that my mom and i do together a lot I watched it three days ago. It's just it's such a happy film. I get offered uh, his Telugu remakes all the time. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> really? What? Really? I've been offered Article 15 remake. I've been offered Vicky Donor remake. I've been oh. offered uh, Parili Ki Barfi remake. Uh -oh. Like these are proper producers oh, who've gotten rights in their like. And yeah. it's because his, his, you know, especially Vicky Donor, it's had such yeah. an impact on Telugu cinema. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people wouldn't realize it because of the, you know the, right. the, the yeah. very Delhi Punjabiness of the whole thing. Uh -huh. But it sort of changed things for a lot of folks like me who aren't the hit someone in the air and they go flying kind of guy ki yaar hum hum logon ke liye bhi jagah hai you know it really yeah, you know yeah. what you've done it actually created space for a lot of us in our own fields yeah. and made gates. yeah yeah and it it's made us believe sure. like uh, ma made people believe that you know what we can come from outside we can create spaces that are that might feel niche mm -hmm. but actually end up being part of everyone's homes right yeah yeah, yeah. You, you know, know so and i also feel that as actors and as our industry is also sort of adapting to a lot of new things mm -hmm. actors also play a bigger role into making yeah. a film or a series you know it's not just writing or mm -hmm. anything like mm -hmm. uh, you know in the west they they are executive producers mm -hmm. uh, and there's a reason it's not just money i mean mm -hmm. they do that so that they can facilitate or they they can rather use their fame mm -hmm. and their uh, power mm -hmm. to make the film to get the film get it made the way right. it deserves the way it deserves right. Right. and it's very very important uh, it's only i think the newer crop of actors are respected more mm -hmm. they are treated as intelligent mm -hmm. beings mm -hmm. otherwise back in the day people used to think okay actors they are good looking and mm -hmm. they're like da 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 yeah. <laughs> they're going to beat up people they're not very smart for some reason it was the yeah. perception and it used to really bother me as mm -hmm. like why is that mm -hmm. but i think actors are pretty smart they're very yeah. like like once my father said something very interesting to me i was really low and uh for whatever rhyme or reason he came and he said uh, you know you guys you're artists and 
you guys are the chosen one. The mm. you're his favorite people because mm -hmm. you have the power to make people feel something. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, not many people can do that. Beautiful. So, Amen. So you should yeah. you should be very happy for what you do. My mom's told me the same. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And since you've asked this uh, question, so if I may just uh, come in here, uh, this is my favorite format of. An interview, mm -hmm. and I, I'm just so thrilled to be sitting here rubbing shoulders yeah. with these fine gentlemen, and they've all yeah. been inspirations to me. Yeah. And yeah. since you asked him, I yeah. must also say I just saw the trailer for Arya Par, huh. and it looks so so yeah. uh, intriguing yeah. and so yeah. well shot too, among other things. Oh, so yeah. uh, I'm. It's just it's just so interesting to. To kind of um, you know dig into the brain of a mm -hmm. of a creative person and an right. actor and like uh, this is my first well actors round table in, in many years so I mean nice. I I'm I'm enjoying this th and I think there's so much similarity yeah yeah you know so different and so similar yeah, yeah like yeah. if I can if I may just you know uh, uh, address what you said for a minute there because you mentioned you said uh, you use the word detached and I, I don't think any of us are detached to to mm. the result even of, mm. of what we mm. do supposed to be good people also <laughs> <laughs> they can be like terrible as long as they're good at what they do yeah yeah Perfect, perfect. Actually, sort of really touched my heart when he said it about being in the room and somebody saying, You don't fit in, you know, you don't fit the role. I've had that it, 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 the moment he said it, I was like that's my whole life mm. like <laughs> like that resonated a lot mm -hmm. uh, so I, it felt interesting to find someone who feels the same mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. because uh, this morning I was inaugurating a multiplex and the wow. first thing the Hindi host said he said you know up South Indian you know, I didn't know how I felt about that. Mm. So, um, thing to say. you know, yeah, so the first thing I said was, Yeah. I think I think the first thing I said was, I said I feel Indian, mm. and you know, I remember Telugu audiences coming to me and saying, uh, it's trying to speak to me in Hindi, and mm. I didn't know why because they were watching my films, but they're speaking mm. to me in Hindi, and then. Uh, another thing was uh, we'd audition. I'd auditioned for something here. Mm -hmm. This was a while back, and when I did, they said, "Sir, you Hindi mein kuch I said, mm -hmm. "Okay, what is it?" He said, mm -hmm. "Where are you from?" I said, "From San Francisco." He said, "Ah, tabi yaapi Hindi mein na hoy ke Americans ha accent hai. Thoda dainik jagran padlo." I said, "Okay, okay." So paper plug kar paper plug kar diya. paper no, Who knew that was the tonic? The next day I went back to the same office for a different audition and they say, Sir, you have a little bit of a bad thing. I said, this time San Francisco is not saying, I'm from Hyderabad. Yes, but you have a little bit of a South Indian accent. So, you know, it's... it's Something it's, or the other was a problem. Yeah, it's, it's very... I think it resonates for all of us at the table mm. if, if you know, people say you don't fit in with... I don't think there's... I mean, who has ever felt... <laughs> Accepted in everything, you know. It's all amalgam of a lot of factors. You know what what Vicky said and Sesh said and what Sumit said. Do you do you realize, Aishman, that you have while you were just doing your own job, you have played a bigger role and made space, made an made a huge market, not just for yourself, open doors for others as well. Do people tell you this? They do, but I never. There was no agenda like that. Like mm. there was no mm. philanthropy coming mm. from me. Mm. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just wanted to be an actor yeah. as an artist, huh. and I always thought I was unconventional. <laughs> I was unconventional. I had to make unconventional choices. Okay. This is the only zone I could just. <laughs> I thought. Coming from a street theatre background, huh, huh. I've dealt with a lot of social issues mm -hmm. and we've made plays around it. Right. It's an extension of my theatre personality. Okay. And it was, no, I began with a wiki donor. Yeah. It was by default. Mm -hmm. But maybe step forward was mm -hmm. by design. Mm -hmm. Because I was looking for something which was slightly disruptive, right. clutter breaking. Mm -hmm. At the same time, half of my filmography is with first time directors. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah. I guess they had 
tremendous risk taking capability hmm. 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 that's so interesting yeah right. it comes from there hmm. so there is no baggage or maybe they are more collaborative aur main bolte hu na thoda sa main hichke jata hu ki senior ko ek hamare prasa hoti hai north mein ki na izzat aur ek tehzeeb thoda sa aap vinamra ho ke baat kare sir aapko ye theek lag raha hai अगर अगर न्यू कमर है अपने साथ बात कर सकते हैं यार ये ठीक है नहीं हाँ, गलत है यार हाँ, लड़ सकते हैं वहां लड़ाई नहीं होती देर इज नो आर्ग्यूमेंट देर इज नो स्कोप फॉर आर्ग्यूमेंट सो आई थिंक आई आई नॉर्मली वर्क पीपल दिस लॉट ऑफ लाइक रूम फॉर आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड क्वेश्चन एंड इवेंचुअली वी वर्किंग फॉर द फिल्म नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू आर नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट ऑन एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन पावर्ड बाय एस्ट्रोलॉजी इंडिया लीडिंग एप फॉर एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स ऑन दिस टेबल हु इज द वन हु बिलीव इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड न्यूमरोलॉजी एनी वन ऑफ यू you believe that okay uh, my father is an astrologer of course we all know that yeah. i am born with this spelling hmm. double n and double r aisa nahi mumbai actor ban you didn't, didn't know <laughs> bachpan se hi so school se log bolte hain ki ye actor banne se wale change karaya kuch kiya hoga kuch nahi aisa kab this was always yeah. always okay okay yeah okay always been like that okay. and i think it's about the time based on your nakshatra hmm. there's no wrong time to do the right thing and sometimes you know it's just you so fit in that puzzle the universe yeah, conspires so even my dad yeah. uh, does a lot of astrology he's uh-huh. uh, he studied okay. t- and he sort of said something very nice you know back in the day there was no therapies there were no therapists okay. mm-hmm. so th- it's 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 a science mm. it it uh, you know th- there's a lot of math involved and mm. you know he does this whole thing mm. and and he said you know i i, I can't tell you if it's nothing can change right you mm. can analyze a situation mm. you're going to go through these phases in life okay. you know these phases of success and failure mm. and uh, fame and da 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 and mm-hmm. so the uh, only solution i can give you is mm. wisdom right mm. you know like if you know that you're going to go and uh, you know aapki biwi aaj aapko daatne wali hai ye aapko pata hai this is a this is inevitable it will happen kuch bhi ya no ring can protect you is how you deal with this <laughs> how you deal with this no wisdom. ring can protect yeah. not even that ring yeah. yeah. not even that oh, so strategy. wisdom agar aapke paas hogi you will be quiet okay right okay. super <laughs> if you are not wise you will try to defend yourself ek maine is pe dekha tha ki aaj एक और बहस हार जा आज एक बार फिर ये ताल्लुक बचा ले मुझे तो आज तक बोला नहीं मतलब हमारा कॉन्फिडेंस इतना डाउन करके रखा था घर में इतना कॉन्फिडेंस डाउन करके रखा था कि जमीन पे रहो कुछ उड़ने की जरूरत नहीं है एक्टिंग तभी करोगे अगर आप पूरी अटेंडेंस लगाओगे टॉप करोगे कॉलेज में सो ही वाज वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट सो या ही इज ही इज वेरी फेमस इन चंडीगढ़ ही रिटन लॉट ऑफ बुक्स बट यू वर बोर्न अराउंड दिस यू बिलीव इन आई बिलीव इन कर्मा आई बिलीव इन कर्मा या ही आल्सो टेल्स मी बिलीव इन कर्मा एंड जस्ट गो फॉर द फर्स्ट मूवर एडवांटेज राइट आई थिंक दैट रियली क्लिक्स वो मेरी फिल्मों में नजर आता है कि ये सब्जेक्ट मैं होना चाहिए पहले वो फोमो है मेरे अंदर कि इस सब्जेक्ट में मुझे पहले करना है राइट सो that's my trip <laughs> right uh, i'll start from here do you, are you someone who has a 2023 resolution are you someone who will do that ki ye mujhe 2023 mein karna hai aane wale year mein no i just i just want to be a better version of myself today Amazing. than yesterday that's mm-hmm. it that's my resolution for life right for so, life what about you 2023 any things you want to achieve anything something different in life you want to do what vicky was saying that that actually meant a lot you know this idea of uh, family being priority mm-hmm. um, so i've gotten a lot of 
don't be tired at home about hmm. how it's been only about work right so i think i want to be able to find that not That's for 2023 part of our profession yeah, yeah. yeah. not yeah. for 23 just for life huh. in general huh. i think uh, to be able to find more time for mom and dad hmm. for friends for relationships hmm. you know and what both these guys seem hmm. to have cracked which yeah. is there's life and then there's work it doesn't have to be the same Cracking. thing right 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 karne ka man hai right ishan are you someone who will have some plan for 2023 i guess the same stuff a lot of uh <laughs> bikes yeah <laughs> no i think uh, uh work more think less mm-hmm. and uh, be kind of mm-hmm. uh, spend more time with mm-hmm. uh, your loved ones and giving love mm-hmm. and uh, uh just explore right yeah right Avishman 2023 any any th- are things in actors control what should release what should not release professionally where to go he is done with philosophy what should not yeah. release <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like i heard three of you i heard the three yeah, of you yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah, three yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. like he has a bank of films ready he's like ye teen to aane nahi chahiye ha ha okay Avishman nahi nahi ha <laughs> I'm just waiting for Dreamgirl 2 to release in theaters. Super. And there they are. मिल गया. That should release. ये theater का बहुत वो है. हाँ. मतलब I'll क्या करूँ? Cinema. 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 Cinema का बहुत जाम है. और दूसरा ये है कि I was discussing about bikes. Hmm. I've always been a biker since my college days. Okay. And join us, buy, right? Yeah, I have to. I have to do a bike journey and buy a scrambler hmm. and go with my friends. Hmm. And I don't believe in resolutions. No, no, सही काम करना कल ही कर लो ना यार. आज ही कर लो. Why you waiting for 31st December? Right, 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 right. So yeah, that's about it. Do it. Yes. Are you someone who will so make so a plan? 2023. Let's yeah. go this way. Let's plan this and. I mean, I just want to start working out, man. I feel like I can't working work out, out yeah. and it's really hard because I get fat and I get. <laughs> It's not fun. I know okay. what you mean. <laughs> I just, I just want to be able to work out, get <laughs> myself to go to the gym. <laughs> My trainer told me that don't work out, just show up. And I should, I oh, just okay. want to be able to do that. And I want to paint more. <laughs> you want to paint, paint more? Paint. Yeah, oh, I nice. stopped painting. I mm. used to paint a lot, mm-hmm. and I believe that I'm decent at it. It makes me happy. Right. So I want to do that. Nice. No pressure. Tripling three. We are very excited about, but. <laughs> मैं भी बीस साल से जिम कर रहा हूँ They talk about such varied things in hmm. life, hmm. like broccoli and <laughs> <laughs> just the place I want to be in. Right, gym. Yeah, twenty twenty three. Oh man, great you guys! I could it. go on and on. Each one of you have said, you know, spoke from your heart, cracked joke, said something. But you know, this is something I will always treasure. So thank you again from all of us for gathering here, talking about acting movies. and all kinds of other things thank you learn so much thank you so much thank you so thank much thank you good fun very good some warm ups warm up to our fans <laughs> with you for all Thank 
वेलकम टू द राउंड टेबल सॉरी 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 यार सॉरी सॉरी हाय यार थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग Thank, thank you. you so much for being part of this round table. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Watch the full episode of Bollywood Hangama's Best Actor Roundtable on Astro Yogi, India's leading app for astrologers.